God, we just echo everything that was prayed today. Uh, first and foremost, I just ask that your face would shine down uh, upon Birch Hill Barn today and that you'd be delighted in the, in the marriage ceremony of Adam and Kaya. God, that you would bless this place today, that your Holy Spirit would be present. Father, I pray that you'd remove blinders from people's eyes, that you would soften people's hearts that need to hear your truth today. Father, I just thank you for the conviction that you've put in Adam and Kaya's heart, not only to pursue each other, but to pursue you jointly, God. Um, today, I pray that you would bless the vows that they share with each other. I pray that you would um, just look down and bind them so tightly together by the power of your Holy Spirit today as they come together as Abrams for the first time. Um, be with all of us. God, just continue to help us come alongside Adam and Kaya, not only today, but in the future. Um, and we're just so excited. Just fill our hearts with joy today that we may radiate uh, the joy that you have touched our heart with, the forgiveness that you've given us, the mercy and grace that you've shown us, God, that we may just touch hearts here today. So we love you, Lord, and we thank you. Pray for peace and comfort that transcends all understanding today. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Stone Scarlet Mary. Oh. God, it is a privilege to be standing right here, right now, as we celebrate what you're about to do. And you've done this ever since Adam and Eve. You've brought two people together, and it's this, this mystery is great. You talk about the two becoming one, and out the back of this barn is gonna walk a new family in about 25 minutes. And it is gonna need every bit of grace, and love, and kindness, and perseverance that you give to them so that they can be found just as they are right now, 50 years from now. May they be just as they are right now, hand in hand, butterflies, just like Adam watching his bride walk down here. May he have that every day that he sees Kaya and the same for Kaya as she sees Adam. We pray this all in Jesus' name, amen. The couple has chosen Revelation 21 one through five as their scripture passage. And let me read this passage. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, look, God's dwelling place is now among the people, and He will dwell with them. They will be His people, and God Himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There'll be no more death, or mourning, or crying, or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. He was seated on the throne and says, I am making everything new. Wow.
believe Christian marriage is an illustration of God's self-sacrificing and unconditional love for his people. With Christ as my example, I promise to love you from this day forward as my husband, my life's partner, and my best friend. Ever since we first met, I have always admired your passion for seeking the truth and understanding the word of God. With that, I vow to come alongside you in studying scripture in order that we may continue to know and love Jesus more above all things. Adam, you continually sacrifice yourself to serve me with great tenderness, and I vow not to take advantage of that, but to respond with gratitude, humility, and trust. I vow to respect you as the man of God that you are and to help you become all that you were created to be. Adam, I realize that apart from the grace of God, I will fail you in all of these vows. Therefore, I commit my life and our marriage to knowing Christ and serving him. Today, I choose you to be my husband, forsaking all others, and I commit myself to you alone for the rest of our lives until Christ calls us home. I am. I love you. You so often choose to be patient, and I will be gentle and patient with you. You have learned so much about who I truly am, and I will become an expert in who you truly are, and your gifts and your passions. You are so beautiful, and I will learn to see your beauty grow throughout our lives. And I will do these things not because you do them to me, or because times are happy, but because that is the love that we have been shown. I will joyfully honor, provide for, and protect you to help you become all you were created to be. Of all the analogies he could use to describe that, what he chooses is I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, prepared as a bride beautifully dressed for her husband. The rest of your life, when you wonder what the gospel is, I want you to think of that moment when Kai was walking down that aisle. That's the gospel. And that desire you have for her pales in comparison. And it's good. I'm not saying it's not good. It's good. But that's the passion that God has for you. In the analogy, Jesus is the one standing here waiting for us to come down.